from the soul with it. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? The Olive Race coming to you live with yet another video. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button. So we got another one hating. We got Kareem Mayfield. Uh, he just recently did an interview with Fight Hype. And, you know, he has questions alluding to Earl Spence saying, and he said that, you know, Keith Thurman is more versatile than Earl Spence and Peterson will trouble <laughs> Earl Spence. So this is how you know that Spence is climbing to the top. Because fighters are starting to come at him now. Like, you don't hear them talk about Thurman has two belts. But it seems that everybody's talking about Spence more than they're talking about Thurman. That's that's funny to me. Like, I have yet to hear a lot of these fighters, if you pay attention to boxing. I'm on Fight Hype. I'm in the loop. I'm watching Boxing Ego, Dante, Boxing Nation, and majority of the boxing channels, right? And... You hear a lot of fighters talking about Spence more than they talking about Thurman. Like, Thurman has, he's supposed to be the king of the welterweight division. He's supposed to be. But everybody, every fighter is talking about Errol Spence. Why is it that Errol Spence is getting more money than Keith Thurman? And Keith Thurman is the king of the welterweight division. Like, he's supposed to be, right? I'm confused. You know, and... I just want to know how, what makes Thurman more versatile than Earl Spence. Thurman is flat-footed. He's more flat-footed than Earl Spence. He's weak to the body. We already can see that he's mentally weak. He's not mentally there anymore. Thurman fades in the later rounds. He doesn't use angles like Earl Spence. He doesn't use his pivot like Earl Spence. So... His defense isn't better than Earl Spence. Like, when have we known Keith Thurman to be super defensive? If I'm not mistaken, he had big knots and stuff. We never seen Floyd Mayweather. If we gonna, you know, he always bring up Floyd Mayweather all the time. We always see Keith Thurman with big knots and big a big black eye. Like, you can go on Google Images and see that for yourself. We have yet to see. See Errol Spence with big knots and bruises. Like, he's fighting Leonard Bundu and walking around with big knots and face all swole from Leonard Bundu. We've seen what Errol Spence did with that. That was easy work for him. You know, Thurman's weaknesses outweighs his strengths. You know, I heard what Javante said. He said the same thing. You know, oh, don't overlook, you know, don't overlook Lamar Peterson. You can't overlook Lamar Peterson. Nobody's overlooking Lamar Peterson. But we know that Earl Spence is going to destroy that man. Lamar Peterson probably throw up in that ring. But like I said, these fighters, we you can tell when a dude hating and when somebody just being genuine, just being real. You know, these fighters, excuse me, they pay attention to the comments. They read the, the negative comments and the things that people say. Don't let them fool you talking about, oh, I'm busy getting money, I'm doing this. Don't let them fool you with that. Because they pay attention to the stuff just like we pay attention to the stuff. They read in the comments just like we read the comments. You know? And like I said, Javante Davis said the same thing. I like Tank. Shout out to Tank. You know? He said the same thing about Spence when he full broke. But like they said, they don't like they don't like the hype that Earl Spence is getting. They don't like it. You know, Terrence Crawford, everybody voicing their opinion, like they they really don't like that attention that Spence is getting. He's about to be the top dog, and they know it. They see it. They can smell it. You know, when Spence fought Kell Brook, I gave Spence a B minus. Before he even gave himself a B minus, right after the fight, I gave him a B minus when I watched the full fight. So I know a little bit of something. I know a little bit of something about boxing. You know, I thought Spence could have been a little sharper, but like, like you said, he had been off. Like nobody wanted to fight him. Remember, Kell Brook said Spence was a nobody. You know, Kell Brook was going to fight 
I guess some journeyman. He was going to fight somebody, some unknown Joe Blow. You know, I just want you to explain to me, explain to me one thing that Thurman does better than Kell Brook. You know, I think that Chris Dalgiri is just a great, just as great as a boxer as Thurman is. You know, Thurman just has more power than Chris Algieri, but he doesn't have the footwork that Chris Algieri has. You know, Thurman doesn't have great defense. So what, what does he do that's vers more versatile than him? I don't see nothing special, just straight up and down. Like, I don't see nothing special about Keith Thurman. He's a great boxer, but I don't see nothing special about him. You know, like I said, that's how you know Earl Spence is becoming the face of boxing because fighters bringing up his name more than they bringing up Keith Thurman and other fighters. You know, Spence making more money than these dudes. And they won't start to cough Spence out until he's the cash cow, until he's the top dog. They're waiting for him to make $10, 15000000 million, $20 million. That's when they're going to call him out because... They're in it for the money. They're not in it for They're in it for the lifestyle. That's why they're coming in, you know, out of shape, missing weight, but, you know, you know, losing their titles, losing the belts. And, you know, mentally, they're not there. Khan, he could have been for Kell Brook. But these guys just want the money. Floyd Mayweather retired, and you got Amir Khan still calling out Floyd. Just because Floyd hit the heavy bag, now Mary Khan like, oh, well, if he come back, I want to fight him. Oh, he don't want to fight me. He don't want to see me. He ain't not even thinking about you. And you talking about fighting him. Come on, bro. Let's, let's get into what Kareem Mayfield said. He called Earl Spence. He said he reminds him of Steve Urkel mentality. Like, he said... He's more so like a German Shepherd or a Doberman. And I just feel like, he said, I just feel like they ain't never been able to F with no pit bulls. Come on, bro. Like I said, these fighters are jealous of Spence. He's becoming the top dog. And it's, the word is, all these fighters fear getting in the ring with Earl Spence. So they look at that and they they don't like that. So they do a lot of talking, but ain't nobody getting in the ring with them. I ain't hear Kareem Mayfield come out and say nothing about Earl Spence until now. He already now he got a fight with Lamar Peterson. Now everybody wanna come out and say, oh well. He's not a he's not the boogeyman. He's not this. He's not that. Come on, bro. Like they 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 jealous of this man. You know, he's an old school fighter. He he earning it the hard way. He ain't taking no shortcuts. He ain't taking no shortcuts. He wanna fight the best out there. And he just came off a fight with Kell Brook. Now he's fighting another top 10 in the welterweight division. I mean, come on now. He's fighting a, a legit fighter. But, you know, the fact that they're bringing up his name, he doesn't even have to call out Keith Thurman no more. That's the one thing about Spence now. At first I was like, oh, he should go out there and say, this, this is just proven that he don't have to call, he don't got to call him out no more. He ain't got to go out there and call out Keith Thurman no more. Because everybody bringing up his name now. So he's about to be the cash cow. They're going to start to pay him now. And they ain't going to have no choice but to want to call him out. Because they want that payday. They don't care about that. Spence want the belts. He gonna, the money going to come. Because he's dedicated to his crap. You know, they under the same, the same management. Al Heyman. But nobody wants to fight him. It's all jealousy. Floyd Mayweather said years ago, years ago, that Earl Spence was going to make the one that's going to make the most noise in the welterweight division. He predicted it already, and it's happening. 
He predicted it, and it's happening right now. You know, everybody talk about Terrence Crawford. He's overrated to me. And I could break down everything about his boxing ability. I can break down everything to a T, and I could tell you exactly why Earl Spence is going to destroy him, why he's going to destroy Lamont Peterson. I'm going to wait to do my fight prediction to tell you that, and I'm going to tell you why he's going to destroy Keith Thurman. I can break it down fully. Like, I see it. It, it don't pass the eye test. If you got a high boxing IQ, you can see it. But anyway, y'all get in that comment box. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Look. Straight from the soul with it.